<laughs> hey, what's up, UMES? My name is Andre, and we're here with the Discover UMES crew, Fall 2012 interns, and this is the Maroon Group. Hello, I'm Angel. I'm Ariel. Hey, guys, I'm Kelsey. And I'm Asha. So guys, how was the experience? I guess I'll start. Yeah. So the experience was great. I enjoyed um, making a commitment every Tuesday, coming here, and I enjoyed the fact that it was kind of a hands-on thing. Like we got to do everything without being told what to do. So they kind of let us make our mistakes, and they let us learn from them. But overall, I love this experience. I wish I could continue. I would have to agree. Um, I like the experience too because this is what I want to do, you know, after graduation. So I feel like I just learned a lot. Like you said, it was hands on, and I feel like it'll help me, you know, when I do get out into the field. I know a little bit more than maybe somebody else might boost me up in my career. So my experience with discovering UMES was epic. Um, I learned things that I'm going to use, of course, now and in the future with potential careers that. Uh, come across my path. Um, these skills that I learned here, I'm definitely going to use them for TV production in the future. Yes. Um, I'm definitely going to uh, use all the uh, key things that Erica and Jim taught me to um, help potential clients, potential employers, um, everyone up here on this panel can, <laughs> can say that they learned something mm. from Jim and Erica, definitely. Yeah. I had a great experience. I learned dedication, commitment. When applying for this internship, I learned everything that I wanted to get out of it. My major is communications and what I want to do in my life was based off of this internship. We learned a lot of great things from our mentors, my peers helped us out and it was a great time. I, we, I enjoyed it and I know they enjoyed it too. Almost definitely. This experience was just awesome. It was awesome in the sense that it gave me a chance to be hands-on with everything yeah. and then looking at another field in communication that I could explore. Right. And then to get that hands-on experience doing editing, you know, sometimes you do hosting and the mere fact that the roles flipped and switched yeah. all the time, it That's gave us a chance to see our weak points and our strong points. And yeah. I think one of the better things of this experience was you know, just working with people who were just fun and <laughs> everybody just enjoyed themselves while they were you know, nervous and, <laughs> and everybody helped out each other and I, I definitely will cherish that. As I would say there is life after discovery. Oh, life death. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so what are your plans? Well life after this is graduation. And I, I plan to, I want to take whatever I've learned from you all and learn from um, Mr. Glovier and Ms. Forsyth. I want to take that and kind of, you know, put it into effect in the world. Because this is real world after this. Yeah. I don't know if anyone <laughs> realizes it or not, but everything I, I've learned here, I want to take it and apply it. Whether I work in TV, whether I work in radio, if I have to work a liaison job before I get into my field, I, I just want to take everything I've learned and apply it to that. I just plan to use this on my resume as well to try to get something, you know, in this field. So that's life after for me. Yeah, um, life after for me, I don't graduate until May, so I plan on staying with the internship, possibly maybe as a student producer, helping out the new people that's coming in and you know showing them the ropes because I mean you know when we was well for me when I came in I was nervous you know my first day hosting I was scared out of my mind because mm -hmm. you know <laughs> yeah yeah but I mean my first time I was scared you know so just being there to help you know the new students coming in and just being like a behind the scenes person so that's what I plan on doing after well for me after graduation, it's in God's hands. Um, with prayer, I hope I can use all the things that I learned here um, in real life, and I can go and um, just make my friends, my family, everyone proud. Um, I want to definitely 
come back here one day just to, you know, tell and speak to other students about, you know, um, how they, I want to ask them how they felt about the, their experience with Discover UMES and then um, help them, you know, for future endeavors. Um, I definitely want to continue to, you know, stay in this field and utilize my skills in TV production, media relations, communications, all that, like all my fellow colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> um, my plans after Discover UMES is um, I'm still a junior. But I think I want to do what Ariel said, like help behind the scenes. I like being on camera, but I learned a lot. I thought I wanted to be on camera, but actually doing Discovery on me has made me realize that I might want to be behind the scenes and not on the camera. So that's why I also appreciate this experience because it made me look deep into what I want to do when I graduate. Um, I have a lot of classes next semester, <laughs> so I'm going to just probably just help behind the scenes and maybe try out Hawk Radio, just do different things in my major and i i will be here next semester as i graduate in may so what i'm planning to do is like many of my colleagues have said is help out behind the scenes you know editing i love i love that like i i just love <laughs> that that most of all i think i enjoy that the most when I was here, well, while I was, you know, doing this internship, and my season start starts next semester, and so I'll be gone most of the time. But it's good to know that they've expressed, they've extended to us the chance to come in and you know work off your own time, right. and that, that <coughs> that's wonderful. And then I'll be looking forward to grad school. Grad so, school, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> But one thing I want to add about um, life af after, I hope life af after for Discovery UMES after us is being bigger. I hope we get the communications building and we get the degree yeah. credited. And I hope that this flourishes along with Hawk Radio, along with all the other uh, pu public relations and communications um, fields. I hope it, it can all be in one building and it can flourish. And it's bigger than what we have now. Right. Yes, I also want to say, I hope this becomes a credited internship because we yes. put a lot of work into this. Yes. True. And I think it will go great with our major, even though it's going to look great on our resume. I also think it should be something that should be credited for our future endeavors. Yeah, to be given this opportunity. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say because we put in a lot of our own personal time, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, outside of our classes, outside of extracurricular activities or athletes, you mm -hmm. know. So I think we should, you know, get that opportunity to be able to put that on our transcript because we put in all this hard work. So. Right. Exactly. This is a hands-on experience. A lot of people don't know we're back here creating a show. Right. So, um, I mean... I want everyone to get, you know, as much vital information as they can, pull it and be a sponge and soak up all the information they need about their careers and, and everything. Like, this experience was awesome. It was and as, as yeah. Kelsey said, we are creating a show, and we are creating a show against all odds. Mm. Like, we have made a lot of sacrifices, each and every one of us, to be here and to do everything that we have done up to this point. You know to make the show what it is and to make the experience what it is and I just hope that you know I, I can say that the sacrifices we've made have definitely paid off mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah I agree we have two wonderful persons who have worked very hard to help us to improve our skills and w what are some of the things that we can say that we've learned from Miss Erica and Jim well, I can say that I've learned um, patience from both of them because through rain or shine, we're, <laughs> we're uh, rolling, we're taping, <laughs> we're on the field, and they've kind of coached us in a way that prepares us for more than just this uh, TV production. They, they've, they've kind of li helped us liaison into, well, I know uh, Kelsey and I, we're graduating liaison into the work field, how we have to work with people, and they're kind of our bosses. And I just hope that when I get out, I have a boss like either Mr. Glovier or Ms. Forsyth that coaches us, not demands us, not tells us, you know, what you, you're doing is wrong. It kind of shows us. So I got that from both of them. Yeah, I would pretty, pretty much say the same thing. Also with Miss um, Erica, 
as far as when we would be hosting, sometimes when we would be sitting up here, well for me, I would go blank. Like I wouldn't know what to say and she would give us, you know, ideas. Okay, you can say this, you can say that. And then with Jim, like when we would be in the field, you know, he would be like the one person who would kind of break the ice and just make it fun and, you know. And then too with um, editing, you know, we would have to set a certain time where we had to be there. We were committed to that. So I think it, like you said, just helped us move into the real world because that's how it's going to be when we move on from this. So. Uh, well, I believe Mr. Jim and Ms. Erica have definitely enhanced our skills. Um, like Ariel said, we have to set times to go edit. Um, just time management has mm -hmm. been a big thing with this whole experience. You have to know um, what time to be here. We have to know when to wrangle to get the students for the interviews. Everything is timing. Right. And um, in the workforce, that's what they teach you. Mm -hmm. Timing is everything. Right. So with this experience, um, we definitely know, we've learned how to you know, um, incorporate time with our daily lives, right. with other work that we have for you know, different classes mm -hmm. and everything. So they just helped a lot with keeping our heads, keeping us grounded and keeping us motivated. Basically, what everybody just said, I believe the same thing, time, patience, commitment. They taught us to put everything into what we did. Don't just, you know, half it, you know, go, go the full mile. I could say I, the first time I came, I was so nervous. But they made me feel comfortable. They helped me out. It's not like, I mean, this is not an easy thing to do. To, to be behind the camera and now I feel comfortable talking to everyone and sitting with my fellow peers and I feel like they had an influence on that. Most definitely. Uh, Miss Erica and, and Mr. Glow here, I call him Jim because he's just that type of, you know. <laughs> yeah. it, it's, it's, it's been awesome because they have taught us a lot. They have taught us a lot. One of the things that I can really appreciate with both of them is the fact that they were in positions of authority, mm -hmm. yet they made us feel comfortable, yeah. and yet they, they kept it you know, light-hearted and all of that, yet still we were getting things done. Yeah. I, I, I love that. So I, I've, learned, I've learned that quality from them, I've, and I've seen where, like, you know, no matter how high I go, you know, I can still be down to earth, can still be human, I can still connect with whoever is around me right. and, and I'll definitely appreciate that from them. As far as going in the field, being on being the host and all of that, you know, Miss Erica and you know being behind the scenes doing editing <coughs> and camera work and all of that, Jim mm -hmm. has helped me a lot. So it's it's just been a great collective effort on both of their parts. Another thing uh, we learned is trial and error. Mm -hmm. Yes. We, <laughs> many of bloopers have gone down in the studio, <laughs> and, and that's fine. Like, we can sit up here and say that we've actually messed up and made it better. The end yeah. product is the best you're going to get out of us. So we spend our, we, we, we work hard, we spend our time uh, diligently in the studio and in the editing studio okay. trying to make sure everything is right for the finished product. Um, it's, we've learned so much from them. One other thing I want to add is um, most people don't realize about Discovery MES. We have to take the initiative ourselves to uh, interview with them, the whole process. They're, we're not, uh, they don't come in and choose us. We have to take the initiative to want to be here. And then mm -hmm. they interview us, and then they, they see something in us, and then they choose us. So they, they teach us through that process how to be leaders, how to take the initiative, how to take the first step. So I think that's what I got out of uh, Mr. Glovier and Ms. Forsyth. They taught us how to be leaders in a way that we didn't even realize. Yeah. Sure, sure. You want to conclude this thing? Well, guys, I must say it's been a wonderful experience. You know, you guys made it even... Fantastic <laughs> internship. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. I wish I could lovely. continue. Right, but yeah. we're graduating. Yeah, graduating. So <laughs> <we're not laughs> anymore. Uh, Look for us, though. <laughs> It was a great semester. I met great people. Right. And this experience will never forget us. We'll always have this in our back pockets. Yeah. Should we be bringing all that the napkins right now? <laughs> <laughs> no. To you, Andre. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
every time. Are we signing off? Are we leaving? We're signing off. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) And that's a wrap. That's the last show. See you all. Everybody just have fun out there. (laughs) Go (laughs) yourself. I know you will. So, um, yeah. Have a blessed rest of semester. Have a blessed rest of life. And God bless you. Always. Once a hawk, always a hawk. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. I'm not going to say I'm going to say No. One more time. All right. Take five. Stop. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we talked to a few hawks about how they felt about breast cancer, as well as gave a few statistics on breast cancer. For more episodes, you can go to youtube.com slash discoveryubs. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.